Yes, good morning, everyone. Uh, sometimes when we are working in procurement module, we will not be able to get item into the procurement module. So it means uh, how to make the item as procurement item. So that's what I'm going to explain here. And then we will see in the next session how to make the item as order management item. So first we have to log in to the application. Who is having the access to FSM functional setup manager. It means application implementation consultant and also having the access to the inventory roles so that we can create an item. So what are the inventory roles we were discussing? Warehouse manager, and warehouse uh, operator, and then inventory manager. So if you have all these roles to your user, then you can log into the applications. The first thing what we have to do is which business unit we are working. Procurement module, which business unit you are going to work. For which business unit you are creating the requisition or you are creating the purchase order. So that we have to identify. So let's say we are working for US1 business unit. US1 business unit. That is your name of the BU. In that business unit, when you try to create a requisition or purchase order, you are getting your item. You are not getting your item. So when you are not getting your item, then we are trying to find the solution for that. So take your business unit. First, we have to go to the application, FSM environment. Let's go to FSM environment. and go to manufacturing and supply chain management. Here we have to search our uh, inventory, which inventory or uh, business unit is associated so that we can get it from procurement module. Let's go to procurement, uh, procurement uh, foundation setups, configure procurement business function, choose your business unit, Here you will come to know which inventory organization your BU is associated. This is associated with CITEL. Nothing but 001 inventory. So in inventory model, whenever we create an item, that's that should be either in 001 or whatever other inventories you are having association that we have to check. Okay. Let's go back to our... Uh, Product information management. We are going to create an item here. Go to product information management. Make sure that the current user is having the access to create an item for your master organization so that we have the idea, right? In item class, in item class, we have the idea. So let's choose the master organization here and choose item class here. And uh, even if you don't choose any template, no problem. We can directly create item and configure the setups manually. Here we'll specify the item name here. I'm going to mention Volvo purchasing item. Item status is active and life cycle phase also is active here. And we will be selecting unit of measurement here. Primary OEM, I'm going to say that it's each is the primary unit of measurement and go to specifications tab here. And we are going to make the item as inventory item. Then only we'll be able to receive the item into inventory. Say inventory item as yes. 
and then we want to make the item as purchasing item. Go to purchasing tab and make this item can be purchased from the suppliers. If you want to purchase this item from ASL approved supplier list. So we have to choose this as yes. So that when you try to create purchase order only approved supplier list will be populated. Normal suppliers will not be available in the list. Right. If we want to go for set some purchasing price, we can specify purchasing price here. Then if you would like to make this item as order management item, we can make this checkbox and uh, we can say that customer can be ordered as yes and save this item. Now item has saved, let's assign this item to the inventory organizations. Go to associations tab. Now I'm going to assign this item to the inventory organizations, 001. If I want to assign this item to the multiple inventory organizations, we can assign from here. I'm assigning only for 001 right now, settle, then. Now item has created successfully. Go for save and close. This is how we will make this item as purchasing item. Now we wanted to test whether the item is going to be populated in our uh, purchase order form or requisition form or not. So what we have to do is we need to log in with an employee who is buyer who is having access to US1 business unit data access. What roles are required? Advanced procurement requester. Another one is so uh, procurement manager. Advanced procurement requester role is for creating the requisitions. Procurement manager is to create the purchase orders. And this is going to be our business unit we are going to work. Okay, so let's uh, go to the applications. I have already user with this roles and data access. Let's go to security console. Now we are trying to create purchase requisition first. Let's test the item is populated in requisition or not. So go to enter requisition line. Here we are going to choose the item name, see the, uh, how the item has got populated. The moment when we choose item, we got description and uh, unit of measurement retrieved from our inventory and we got price also here, right. So let me choose the supplier if required, advanced corporation, and go for add card and requisition. That's a standard processor. This is how we can go for access or item in PO, a requisition document. And we can also get this item in purchase order. Let's see. Let's go for uh, check with purchase order. I will go for navigator. Now we are going for navigator here and tools. Oh, sorry. Procurement. Purchase order. So the moment when we go for purchase order, 
work area. We'll be able to create the PO and we can access our item. At what level we'll get? Line level. Line level, we are going to get an item. Now go to create orders here. Choose the supplier name here. And go for creation of purchase order. Let's go for create. Go down. Let's go to this lines and try to access the item. This is how we can make the item. So now we are able to access the item in both the documents, requisition as well as the purchase order document. We can get the price here also, default. And if we want to go for override, the price can be changed. Depends on the requirement. We can change this. The remaining steps common, uh, create uh, the purchase order and go for approval, receive this item into the inventory. And we'll enter the shipments. All this information here, requested delivery date, promised delivery date, then go for save this purchase order over here. Okay, so this is how we can make the item as a purchase order. Okay. Thank you.